A single NFT photo called Every Days, the first 5,000 days, sold for almost $70 million in 2021, a market capable of generating $24.7 billion in trading volume in 2022. But first of all, what are NFT? NFT stands for non fungible token, which is a type of digital asset that is unique and cannot be replicated. Unlike traditional fiat money or cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin, which are fungible and can be exchanged for other token of equal value, NFTs represent a specific item or piece of content such as digital artwork, video clip or just a text. Technically speaking, NFT are a blockchain technology application. Since Ethereum's inception, most blockchain have become developer tools for executing programs on them. Ethereum, for example, features a virtual machine capable of executing bytecode, allowing developers to write deterministic programs known as smart contract, using a higher-level programming language called Solidity. NFTs are essentially smart contracts that implement an interface. In the case of an Ethereum virtual machine, the IRC721 or IRC1155 interface. This interface defines fundamental properties such as owner and ID, as well as functionality like transfer. Being on a blockchain gives NFT the same property of any blockchain transaction, security, integrity, and availability. NFTs has created a market for digital art and other unique digital content, allowing creators to monetize their work in new ways. Most platforms that allow users to interact with NFTs takes the form of marketplaces such as OpenSea, Rarible, and Mintable. This marketplace gives users the option to buy or sell NFTs, but do not provide any means of interaction between users. Additionally, a clear understanding of the underlying infrastructure is required to perform any operation, which can be intimidating for new users. For example, understanding what is a Web3 address or how to obtain cryptocurrency. As a result, newcomers to the NFT space may be hesitant to engage with the technology at all. To address this gap, social crypto art has been developed as an application that provides users with the ability to interact with NFTs in a more social context. The app enables users to create, buy, and sell NFTs while also allowing for interaction between users and the creation of a community. The objective of this application is to provide a user-friendly experience that can gather to a wide range of users, regardless of their level of familiarity with NFTs. The simplified version of the system is represented in this image. As you can see, there are three main components. The UI, which takes the form of a web app, provides an intuitive and accessible interface for users to interact with the system. This component is crucial in enabling users to easily navigate the system and carry out action with minimal confusion or difficulty. The server, in the form of a GraphQL and REST API server that handles all of the backend processing required for the application to run smoothly. This component is used to perform all the tasks that requires to be quick and costless. Finally, the smart contract on the blockchain, obviously, that handles all of the NFT-related operations required for the system to function. These contracts are responsible for creating, selling, and buying NFTs, as well as managing ownership and historical data related to NFTs. The application poses several challenges that must be overcome in order to successfully implement it. Firstly, it requires an understanding of client-server and peer-to-peer -peer architecture. Additionally, a deep knowledge of Ethereum Virtual Machine, or EVM, is necessary to fully comprehend its possibility and constraint. And trust me, there are a lot of constraints. Synchronizing the different parts of the system is also a complex task. Each component operates as a different process, taking varying amounts of time to return a response. For example, a post request to the server might take 50 milliseconds, while mining a transaction on the blockchain could take up to 30-60 seconds, depending on the load of the network. To mitigate this issue, caching techniques are employed to reduce the time required for common operations, such as fetching data from the blockchain. Finally, but not less important, the security of the system is a top priority. An understanding of concepts such as encryption, secure hashing, and digital signature is necessary to ensure the integrity and confidentiality of the server, and in particular, of the smart contracts. To ensure the reliability and security of the system, all three components have undergone testing. The smart contracts, which represent the core of the system, were tested using automated unit testing. Over 100 tests were performed clearing the contract of any security flow, such as the re-entry attack, and bugs, such as underflowing variable. The server was also test using unit testing focusing on critical parts such as creating access login tokens, while other, all the other functionality underwent manual testing. The UI, unfortunately, has not been tested with automated tools yet because of time limitation. 
Now, let's see how the application looks like. Remember, you can find it online at socialart.uk. Let's take a look at the homepage of the app. Here you will find some information about the app, and if you are ready to get started, just click the Launch the App button to enter the application. Once inside, you will see the collection of all posts published up to now. Some of these are regular posts, while others are NFTs. In order to interact with the system, you need to be a login user. To register or login, just simply click the Login button and choose the appropriate option. Registering an account is a breeze. All you need is an email address. After registering, you will receive an email from socialart.uk with a link to complete the registration process. Once you're logged in, you will be able to interact with posts by liking or disliking them. Also soon, you will be able to comment on posts and save them in your personal space. Wait for an update. If you already have a Web3 address, you can connect it to your account by clicking the Connect Now button. Currently, this feature only works with MetaMask, but Wallet Connect will be supported soon. If you don't have a Web3 address, you can create one using the application. Simply go to Settings, Web3 Linked Accounts, and click Create an Account. This page will generate all the information you need to set up your Web3 account, including your private key, mnemonic, public key, and address. Because this information is extremely important and cannot be changed like a password, a strong encryption process is used, and it requires a password to work. Because addresses can be complicated to identify, you can set an alias for your new account. Just fill in the necessary field and you're good to go. Remember to save this information in a safe place and never share it with anyone. This account is also automatically linked to your login option. If you recall the login screen, there was an option to log in using a Web3 account. Now you can use this Web3 account to log in to your account. You can also achieve the same thing by connecting your MetaMask account. Now that you have an account, let's post something. In the Add Post section, you can add text, photos, or GIFs in any order you prefer. You can also decide if your post is public or private. Restricted is another future feature. If you want to create NFT, you can set additional properties such as royalties, the percentage of the amount you will always receive after every sale is made by third parties. You can also decide whether to set the NFT for sale or not. Two options are available, fixed price sellings, where you set a price and a buyer purchases it at the specified price, or auction selling, where you set some starting parameters such as the initial price, minimum bid increment, and deadline. Once the auction is finished, the maximum bid is selected and you get the amount bidded. Each NFT multimedia is synced with both the server and the IPFS network backed by Filecoin, as you can see here. In addition to the features already mentioned, there are several other functionalities available on the platform. By accessing your personal account, you can view all of the posts published and all your NFTs created or obtained. The search function allows you to find other users on the platform and discover new content to engage with. For those who have created NFTs, the system offers the ability to modify their properties and even put them up for sale through fixed price or auction selling options. Bidding in auctions and purchasing NFTs from other users is also possible. However, I don't want to spoil all the surprises of Social Crypto Hard. I invite you to explore the platform for yourself and discover all the features it has to offer. If you need cryptocurrency to engage with the system, remember you can obtain it for free at faucet.socialart.uk. As you could see, some functionalities are still under development, as adding comments or connect to Wallet Connect. This is because smart contract server and UI have been developed at different time, and while the smart contract and the server are basically finished, the UI still need a good amount of work to be finalized. As part of future development plans, the idea is to finalize all the function requirements and start testing fully the server and the UI that are still partially tested. In terms of new functionality, the system aims to create a smart contract subsystem to handle and verify all NFTs published on the platform. At present, any type of content can be published, even if it is illegal or infringes on copyright. The only way to remove such content is by manually removing the index from the database, obviously not a proper scalable solution. To address this, the plan is to develop the smart contract that can assign moderator roles to individuals based on their activity on the platform. These moderators will be responsible for removing any posts that could potentially harm the community due to their illegitimacy. This will create a more effective and efficient means of monitoring content and maintaining a safe and legitimate environment for all users. 
I hope you enjoy this journey into social crypto art. If you want to learn more, please read the report, which goes into detail on all the sections covered in this video. Thank you and have a nice day.